High Desert Gold Diggers, the Mexico Valley Prospectors, Simmons Valley Prospectors, AC6 Gold Mine, I know there's a bunch of you here. And so, if you want to join a club, you know, get in with these people, because they put on their own events, you know, in, in a lot of good places. This is just a, so people that, you know, either you're not in a club or you're in a club, you just want to meet other people. All right, guys, this is Y Gold here. I'm with Neil Geo, and we're here in Menifee on his seated hunt provided by uh, Larry Englehart. I'll go ahead and leave a link to his channel along with Neil's up there in the right hand corner. Today, we're going to be hunting a seated hunt. They say there's supposed to be up to upwards to 2,000 coins planted. Let's go see what kind of goodies we can find. Lori's over here at this booth. Woo! 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 Larry's back there with the best fun. some targets I got one buffalo I got another buffalo two buffaloes see that sweet this sounds good let's go ahead and turn that off for a second so you can hear it pretty high numbers so we're gonna go ahead and check it out we here somewhere
Ah, there it is. I see it. So we'll know that we do. Oops. Okay. Take that. Let's just scan this one more time. All right. That's the that sound. That's pretty nice. 27 to 29. All I'm pretty much is finding uh, cancel out here. I'm finding more cancel out here than I do at the beach. Well, see, it's close. Yeah. Okay, it's a weedy. Man, I thought that was going to be a silver because that marine got pretty high. All right. Well, it's another coin. We'll take it. Just make sure that's nothing else in there. Okay. On to the next target. Shotgun shell. This is the second one I've gotten so far. There's Neo over there. Let's say hi. To... Say hi to Nelson there. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I'm finding more can slaw here than I do at the beach. Mm. <laughs> I found a bit. What have you gotten up so far? Two buffs and about six or seven uh, Wheaties. Uh, I, got, uh, I got like three Indian heads. Um, one Jefferson and two buffs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Solid 13 there. It says it's down to four inches. Usually those are nickels. Go ahead. It's right here. Let's see what we got. Finally, a coin. We got a buffalo. Sweet. It's three buffaloes. It's pretty fun. You gotta dig a lot of junk targets to get the good stuff. Let's make sure we're nothing else in there. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and cover up the hole. All right. Of course, you gotta have that one guy who does not fill back in his holes. What the heck? Come on, people. It's that simple. Fill in your holes. I got something here. It's like 19 there, and then I got 27, 28. I think that's gonna be a weedy. So I think I'm gonna hit that one instead of this one. Let's go ahead. I haven't seen anything pop out yet. I'm not feeling anything on the pin pointer. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. I'm getting excited because I like that sound. I'm over here. There we go. Yeah, I was digging in the wrong spot. Yeah, there we go. Nelson said he got a couple of Indian heads. Pretty cool. But got another weedy. He said, I'm having fun. Even though I'm finding a lot of cans, well, I'm having fun. Let's go ahead. Close that back up. There you go. Well, it seems like it's real close to the surface, so uh, I bet you it's probably going to be uh, some more cans. But we'll go ahead and dig it up anyways. Yeah. That's 
it's real close to the surface. Yeah. Cancel. Need to cover you guys' holes. Look at that, right next to that hole. Oh, that's a vehicle. Sweet. It's got a vehicle. Right on. Yeah, it's right next to that hole that somebody left open. Okay, we got uh, just a weedy over here just a second ago. Now I got an Indian head. So, oops. All right. Well, at least I got a relic. That's a horseshoe. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's been a while, but we got some more coins here. Got a, another buffalo and another weedy in the same hole right here. I also got a Jefferson one. So it's getting pretty hot, and I'm having fun. Oh, that one's loud. That hurt. Oh, what could it be? That's why. <laughs> Big old chunk of iron. Got a mason jar lid. It was kind of sitting on the surface. Alright. You got a nice solid 12. Yeah. All right, got another vehicle. This is my fourth vehicle so far. All right. Cool. I like that sound. Sounds like 12, 13. It's gonna be a nickel. Cancel. <laughs> okay, it's my uh, fourth uh, fourth Indian head. All right. Well, there's a few few more diehards out here, but I got me another uh, Indian head penny. Well, I just found somebody's uh, pen pointer, so. <laughs> We'll go see if, see if anybody reported a missing pinpointer. All right, we are going to be calling it. Uh, everybody's wrapping up, and you know the funny thing is, there's still three uh, three more coins, uh, gold coins missing. Nobody's recovered them. So, well, I turned in the uh, pinpointer, so they'll 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 track down whoever lost their pinpointer. A little white's pinpointer. Uh, I sure can use a new pinpointer, but no, I didn't want to keep it. It's not mine. So hopefully Larry will be able to get to, uh, get it back to whoever lost it. Okay.
Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass this one up. <laughs> just didn't sound right. Anyways, we'll get up. When I get home, I'll go ahead and do a wrap up and uh, yeah. All right. So thanks, thanks again, guys, for stopping by, checking out the video. All right. So we'll see you at the wrap up. Okay, here's the uh, wrap up of the Menifee Seated Hunt. Uh, thanks to Larry Inglehart for setting this up. It was a, uh, I had a blast. I met quite a few new people. There was a lot of people there uh, for this seated hunt. Uh, they had uh, over 2,000 coins planted and four gold pennies. Now, if you found one of the four gold pennies, you can trade it in for a prize. Uh, as far as I know, before we left, there was only one that was found and three more were remaining. So, I don't know if they ever did find it or not, but I heard the next day they went back looking for it. So. Um, this is the never-ending sea of cancel that I pulled out. That did my fair share getting all the garbage out. So this this pile is going to be added into my other junk pile, which is over there behind there. And I'll be doing a wrap up of that later on in a couple more weeks of how much trash I pulled out of the beach this year. So anyways, like I said, it was a great hunt, and then we got some cool stuff. They promised coins, and we found coins. Uh, but first, we're gonna go with this. This was a uh, mason, jet, uh, mason lid jar. Uh, unfortunately, it, it broke when I pulled it out of the, uh, my finds pouch, but it was it was just barely hanging on. And a horseshoe, got part of a horseshoe. We'll take that. Uh, so like I said, there was coins, and we did get coins. Uh, Got, let's see one two three four five Indian hit pennies two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen wheat cents four V nickels I thought there was five but it was wrong four V nickels two four six eight ten twelve uh, buffaloes and two four six modern uh, Jeffersons most of them gonna be under from 60s and older so yeah, I had fun, had gr great time. Uh, Nelson was there, he had a great time. He, uh, I know he found some pretty cool stuff. And uh, yeah, also met Robert Ferguson. He, he was a pretty, uh, pretty good guy. Um, he's probably the most famous person there <laughs> at that event. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching my video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, good luck and happy hunting.